Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist, welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can create realistic looking skin in your digital painting workflow in Adobe Photoshop CC. Let's start. First of all, I have uh, opened two documents. First document is my sketch document with two layers. One layer is sketch layer and uh, bottom layer is background layer. And second um, document is my um, reference image. Now I will uh, highlight my uh, background layer and I will create a new empty uh, document. Using eyedropper tool, I will pick color out of my reference image, just like that. Using uh, a simple paint brush tool, I will increase the size of my paint brush. Uh, I will apply first a layer, just like that. This will be my uh, based um, skin uh, color. You can use any um, color you like, just like that. So guys, um, also I have opened two um, panels. One panel is Adobe Color Sims. You can um, create any um, a color palette you like. Uh, and second image, uh, second uh, palette is um, Second panel, I'm sorry, is my uh, colors, uh, color panel. Uh, using Adobe Color Sim, uh, I can create any color palette I like. Example, Photoshop um, uh, specified this color as um, a based color. I can adjust it. I can say, no, 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 no. I would like to have this color as my uh, based color. And now I will click on color uh, rule and I will create a new palette based on my um, based on my base color example I will create a monochromatic uh, uh, palette just like that I will rename it and I will save it to my creative cloud library just like this and voila now I will uh, use my uh, palette I just created a few seconds ago and I will continue working on my um, project just like that. Definitely you can adjust your brush in any way you want. Now I'm bringing down opacity of my brush and voila, just like that. I will use a um, white color now and I will specify area for my highlights, just like that. Perfect. Now, guys, uh, switching between eyedropper tool and paintbrush tool, I will um, blend all colors together, just like that. Uh, and yes, my um, image light, uh, right now will look very flattened, uh, uh, nothing three-dimensional. You will see in this painting for now because I'm just applying uh, my first uh, layer of based colors just like that and voila i'm happy with my uh, first layer now using um any color from my color palette or creating new um color palette using adobe color seams i will uh, apply different colors to my um painting um example now i would like to use a um, light shade of a yellow color just like that I will apply splash of a yellow colors just like that and I will switch to white and few uh, splashes of a white color just like that and using eyedropper uh, tool and uh, my paintbrush tool I will blend all colors together just like Just like that. Now I will specify my uh, color, base color. I will create complementary palette just like that. And using a complementary palette, I will apply splash of complementary colors to uh, my uh, painting be because human skin um, reflects everything. So guys, it's um, impossible to um, um, I would say not impossible, but it will be not um, correct 
to um, apply same color uh, or um, different tones of same colors to your entire painting because if you notice our skin reflects everything reflects background reflects uh, reflects reflects a light reflect everything so be careful with your colors uh, try to create something two dimension three dimensional not two dimensional and again using eyedropper uh, tool and my paintbrush um, i will uh, smooth um, out all um, colors i will blend all colors together just like that and voila now i will uh, decrease size of my brush I will uh, increase opacity 200%. I will change color for my brush and voila, let's rock and roll. Just like that. Change the color. Perfect. And again, guys, don't be scared. Um, uh, you can use a different. Um, brushes you can create different type of painting um uh you can start um having in mind one uh painting and you will end up with completely different um painting everything is okay don't be scared don't be scared to make any mistakes because we are not making mistakes we are creating an art our art so just like that i will switch to shades um library a uh, palette i just um, created a few minutes ago and just like that and i will increase size of my brush and voila now guys i will i uh, use eyedropper tool and my paintbrush tool i will bring down opacity of my uh, brush I will blend all colors together and I will increase size just like that. And one more thing, guys, don't uh, think that you need to start and finish your painting using one uh, size of your brush. Uh, feel free to switch between different uh, sizes at any time you like. Also, guys, um, switch between different opacity of your brush um, create as many la layers as you like um, you can have only one layer you can have 10 layers you can have um, 100 layers or 200 layers uh, everything is up to you uh, but anyways i will not recommend you to use only one layer because using um, different layers you have um, a huge huge uh, flexibility to adjust any layer at any time so now i will switch to um light shade of a uh, red color just like that let's see yes just like that i will bring down opacity of my brush and increase size of my brush i will apply splash of a red color just like that guys because as i said before um, our skin reflects everything and we can blend everything together again just like that so using same technique you can create very realistic looking skin um it's a very simple it's a very easy uh just um don't try to um uh start your uh, painting with one layer and finish your painting with one layer or using only one color or different uh, shades of tones um of same color um uh, guys use different colors different um layers and different uh size sizes of your brush so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today if you have more time and you would like to dig deeper into this topic please uh stay with me and we will continue working on our project just in a second so guys now we will continue working on our project and um i would like to um bring your attention to my uh, library in uh, this library i have all colors 
for a particular this skin tone and also I have uh, many different uh, palettes I created using Adobe Color Sims. I created different um, color rules using um, Adobe Color Sims and I saved all my new palettes to my uh, Creative Cloud library. I um, named this library as uh, Face Painting. I will always remember um, if I would like to work on my uh, face painting, I will open this library and I have everything in the same library. Also, if you notice, I have here um, sketch layer, this a uh, layer. Um, also, I have shades, a palette, I have complementary colors. Complementary colors are very important. Also, uh, example, if, you be, if um, in our current example, we have a light uh, skin tone. Um, her skin tone reflects a red, uh, blue, uh, yellow colors, brown colors, um, pink colors. Uh, you need to use different colors and to um, bring attention to some specific um, part of your image, try to use a different colors. Example, if you use monochromatic, um, colors you will uh, bring attention of your viewers directly to the point you want to bring um, uh, your viewers attention to this is very important use different um, color rules and you will create completely uh, different image uh, gorgeous image so guys let's continue working on our image i will use complementary uh, colors right now light um, blue color and i will bring down opacity of my brush to 14 percent and just light splash of this complementary color just like that um, any color can be um, uh, visible less or more depends of your um, uh, image depends of uh, your um, imagination everything is up to you guys so now I will switch to shades color. My um, brush opacity still is 14% and I will start applying shades to my uh, face. Just like that. If you like, you can increase size, increase uh, opacity of your brush or decrease opacity of your brush at any time. As I said before, same about your size of your brush. Just like that. I'm switching between smaller and bigger size of my brush all the time. I I cannot work with the same uh, size of my brush all the time because, um, uh, example, under her eye, uh, eyes, I will use a smaller size of my brush. Over her cheek, um, I will use a bigger brush, size of my brush. Just like that. And guys, by the way, I'm using a Wacom tablet. Um, I recommend you to um, buy any uh, tablet you can afford because any tablet will be much better than uh, any, uh, the most expensive uh, mouth. Uh, you can paint using your mouth, but I will not recommend it. And uh, when the last time I checked um, Amazon uh, prices, Wacom and Tears was cost $75. And when the last time I checked um, uh, computer mouth, it was $100. So now I will switch to another color and, and I will apply color to her lips. Just like that. Perfect. And different color. Just like that. Like I said before, we can't use the same color or shades of same color. Just like that. Look, guys, look at this. Now we bring our um, painting to life. Just like that. Can you feel it? Yes. I will increase size of my brush and voila. Guys, look at this. Now she's alive 
and we are not done, we even not close to it. I will switch to white color. I will apply a few highlights in here in here and I will increase opacity of my brush to 65% will bring down size of my brush and I will apply a few highlights here and here and here just like that and again guys don't be scared you can adjust anything at any time just use your imagination enjoy your workflow it's important just like that and using eyedropper tool and my paintbrush tool, I will bring um, all colors together. I will blend them just like that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Now she's alive. And again, we are not done. Just like that. Look at this i love it i love painting i was painting all my life just like that guys look <laughs> now i will bring down size of my brush i will switch to um, dark color i will use a black i need to use a black color for her eyelashes but as a painter, I um, prefer to avoid uh, black colors, so I will use a dark shade of blue color, just like that. I will bring down size of my brush. And voila, and also I need to bring up opacity of my brush to 100%, just like that. And again, guys, don't be scared. I will bring down size of my brush. Just a little bit here. And I will switch to red color. Light shade of red color. Just like that. And I made mistake. I will undo my last brush strokes. Two last brush strokes and voila. And using eyedropper tool and my paint brush tool, I will blend some colors together just like that and again guys remember i told you that we can fix anything at any time look at this and voila we fixed everything using a same color just like that i will paint over her eyebrows just like that first layer for her eyebrows and voila so guys this is uh, what i wanted to share with you today uh we are not done um probably i will um work on my uh painting in other tournaments uh because i would like to have more 3d dimensional uh, look and um to create 3d dimensional painting uh, we need to apply different um many many different layers of shades and lights different colors and everything like that but i just gave you some idea how you can create a very realistic looking um skin and again because i'm photographer um i i love to have um a, uh, to create a different uh type of art um I'm not trying to create a photographically realistic painting because if I would like to have realistic a looking, um, a realistic a phot a photography looking um, painting, I will take my uh, camera and I will take a uh, picture. So I would lo I love to have separation between my photography and my painting but everything is up to you guys you can create very realistic uh, photography realistic looking a painting or painting in one goal uh, style everything is up to you guys um, but i would like to say as super appreciated of uh, your time super appreciated all your support if you have any questions just ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions and if you would like to have um same tutorial but in adobe mobile applications such as um sketch adobe photoshop sketch or adobe illustrator draw just let me know so guys thank you so much and i will see you later bye